welcome to my channel. I'm Amanda and I'm here today. I'm going to do you a, a twin flame reading. I was sitting here and my little faux dog right here, he was staring at me and he was like, do a twin flame reading. So I was like, okay. So I was drawn to do one. And I'm so glad I was drawn to do one. So I did one and then I ended up saying, nope, I'm not going to put this one out there because I don't know. I mean, there was a lot of healing on both sides. I think the feminine has really put herself into her own work, and so has the masculine, and it's just, it's really balancing energies, pretty much, but on this one, I decided to just do away with that one, and come back and do another one, and see if the, the energies are kind of the same, and they are. They laid out kind of the same, but in a different way, so... A lot better way. So we're going to start with the hedgehog. There's something here that's not our fault. Our fight. And we know that. It's uh, it's our own fight. This is the fight to heal ourselves. And we're also fighting temptation to help. To help each other out. You know, to, to extend ourselves. Because the Divine Masculine knows the Divine Feminine is going through things. And the Divine Feminine knows the Divine Masculine is going through things. But we, right now we have to... The big part of the last reading was about our individuality. And how we heal ourselves. And not how we heal each other. Codependency is not a thing anymore. We cannot be codependent on each other. We have to do this ourselves. Because at the end of the day, we only have ourselves, right? So we're learning to keep our nose out of out of each other's business. <laughs> Which is good. That's really good because we're coming into our own. Okay, so this side pretty much is the masculine this side is the feminine and then this is the middle so we'll start with the masculine he's the red squirrel he's making an effort he's taking his duties serious he's like working on you know how before you go into hibernation you have to go and collect your nuts before hibernation he's like taking it serious he's working on his passion he's working on his authentic self He's taking time out to regroup. He's like, let me collect myself before I have to go into hibernation. I won't be able to do anything in the you know, the winter time whenever it's snowing outside and it's cold. I got to get all this done before. Before winter comes. I got to get all this done before, you know, I can get, I can get moving forward. And I think that's great. Because he's making an effort. Now we're going to get to the, and well, I'll show you in a minute, but the badger for the divine feminine side. She's grounded in her beliefs right now. She's just standing around. She's like, yeah, I know it's real. I know what's happening in this situation. She's like, I see you. I see you're healing. I see I'm healing. I'm working on myself. I'm digging my own holes. <laughs> Since she's a badger. I'm doing my own thing. I'm, work I'm putting myself into my own work. I'm manifesting things on my own. And things are just going good. They're going really good. She's she's coming into her own as well. He's going within. He's thinking about the things he has to do to prepare for winter. And she's doing the same. She's getting herself ready for for the rest of her life, you know. If you are a twin flame, I'm pretty sure you went through an awakening and I'm pretty sure that you lost a lot of your friends. You probably had to change jobs. You probably had, 
you know, you had a lot of changes in your life. With change is endings. With endings, there are new beginnings. And we have to create our new beginnings. So this badger, she is she is creating her, in herself, okay? In her little her energy field. She's creating new energy. This is the best energy though. I mean the best. The treasure island. This is using the law of attraction. Bringing dreams into fruition. The results of positive thinking made manifest. So whatever she has been dreaming of is manifesting. I love this because it has a sea turtle on the on in it. The sea turtle, I don't know, it came to me in a dream one time and it just made me feel so good in my dream. Like it was just like the best thing ever. And I feel like that's what you did. You brought your energy up. And you were like, I'm going to make the best out of whatever I have. I'm going to make the best out of this. And I'm going to start attracting what I need and what I deserve. 100%. Also, since this is a twin flame reading, I want to say that um, she thinks that this relationship is a treasure. But I also feel... That she thinks abundance flows freely towards her. She's she's got affirmation. She's got she's got things going with her. And then we have truth be told. <clears throat> this is on the masculine side. He's coming out of denial. <laughs> you see that mask that he's standing on? He's not behind the mask anymore. He's standing on top of it. And he's becoming to his wisdom. There's an owl with the window open. And it's kind of like his wisdom his wisdom's going to be uh, brought to light. There will be clarity. He's willing to be transparent now. He's going back into his authentic self. And see, this is where this is coming back to. He's going back to what's natural because... Uh, I feel like, I don't know why, but just the squirrel being in nature, and it was just, you know, it's like nature's natural, and just he's he's going back to what's natural, what he, his, his natural form is. But there's some kind of truth that's going to be coming out, and he will be proclaiming the truth, and it will come out loud. It will be projected. Okay, and this truth is got to do with this twin flame connection, I do believe. I haven't even got to what the universe wants. No place like home. Okay, this is the energy between the two. No place like home. Emotional safety. I wrote it on the top because I was like, that that's perfect. Emotional safety. <laughs> I did not want to forget that because it just popped up in my head and I was like, that is what it is. It's emotional safety. It's feeling safe. In each other's presence. You're coming home to yourself. Yourself. You're arriving to a place that you just fit in. Both of you are. And you're just now seeing it. You're just now waking up to it. You've got that mask off now and you're like, oh man. You know, oh my gosh, we're like home to each other. You know that feeling whenever you, uh, you go to grandma's house, you were little, I don't know, it's not the same as it used to be, but... We would have to drive like four hours to my grandma's house and when we get there it would be like home walking in, you know? And it's kind of like that. It's like 
You'll drive that four hours. You'll go that, that extra mile for this person because they're like home. And there's no place like it. That's why this, uh, all, it, why, that's why it's all transpiring. We've got healing here. Oh my gosh, and I didn't even see this because I haven't even picked this up. Twin Flame. This is Divine Partner. I mean, Divine Counterpart Connection. Healing. Old wounds and childlike issues. Childhood issues need revising. I'm sorry. I don't know. Is Mercury about to go in retrograde? I could not talk lately. <laughs> Anyways, I'm going to get deeper. We're going to get deeper in this. But first, I want to tell you what the universe has to say. Uh, the, the universe is saying, and I have a new life for you. Are you going to heal for it? Are you going to come to the edge for this new life? This new life will bring you serendipity. It will bring you happiness, love, joy, luck. It will bring you sh where you want to go. It's saying, come to the edge. Try this out. Maybe this is what you need. Maybe all this might come together in winter. Because winter is really on my mind right now with that squirrel. <laughs> he is so worried. He is so worried. Look at him. He's looking at this badger. Can you see it? He's looking at that badger like, Hey, you can come over whenever it gets winter? You're going to come hibernate with me? And she's like, I don't know, man. I got my whole duck <laughs> somewhere. And I've been working on it pretty hard. And it's been nice. So there might be some convincing that needs to be done between these two. And I think the universe is trying to convince you too because they're saying this will be serendipity. This is this is gonna be nice. This is gonna be beautiful. This is Treasure Island. I don't know, should I just end it there? No, I'm gonna do a few because this is pretty nice. I mean, we're both on both sides, the masculine over here and the feminine, they are coming in to their own individual state they're coming into healing on their own individual time nobody else is interfering we don't have the feminine reaching out to the masculine crying over spilled milk we don't have the masculine reaching out to the feminine and and projecting wounds or triggering and this and that we don't have none of that we have we're preparing there's going to be collaboration this truth be told there's going to be some collaboration and we're going to prepare for this we're going to prepare what we have ahead ah that that's just that's beautiful let's see well that just flew out let's see what the red squirrel is coffee cup meeting and conversing savoring the moment feeling uplifted friendship yeah they're going to want to talk about this. Definitely. He looks eager. <laughs> he looks very eager. Like he is ready to talk. That's so cute. I love squirrels. Badger. What is this badger? Soulmates. Soul connection, partnership, agreement, soul contract. Yeah, she's like, she's going to agree to come into his little hut. She's going to be like, you know what, that hole that I dug, you know, he'll still be there. She'll agree. She'll, she'll agree. She's going to come to the edge. I think he is too, since he's ready to have this conversation. Maybe the coming to the edge was this conversation, was this collaboration between the two. And I got the justice on the bottom. Soul contract. Most definitely. Let's see. Let's get a couple cards for the masculine's energy towards the feminine. What does the masculine need the feminine to know?
There needs to be stability. Before they come forward, there needs to be stability. Okay? I see his... He knows this is a destined opportunity. He knows that this is in his favor. This, All of this that's lining up, it's in his favor. It's in your favor. It's in both of y'all's favor. He knows that. It's in humanity's favor, if you want to put it at that. He's been soul searching. He knows that he wants this. He wants this foundation, this commitment with you. He's seen the growth in you, and he has seen the growth in his self. And he is growing, you are growing. Y'all are illuminating the, the whole situation within. With if, you don't even know it, probably. You don't even know that this on the 5D level is just... There's so much going behind the scenes that you have no idea. It's filling your cup. It's filling your cup back up. Individually. But he also knows that he can initiate love with you. Because you are that person that can help him lay down those burdens. He knows that he can lay his own burdens down. But it, sometimes it's just nice to have somebody that understands you. And he knows that you understand him. Y'all collaborate very well together. Not talking, not preparing for winter is bringing a lot of turmoil inside. He needs that collaboration just like you do. You need that too. But I mean like it says. Oh and then we got the ten of swords on the in reverse. Which is this is not over. He knows that. But you also know. You both also know that you're not going to put your nose into their business. They're not going to put their nose into your business. This is something that you have to do. You have to release and in the karmic patterns. What is this badger? What is this uh, feminine, divine feminine energy towards this masculine? What's this divine feminine energy towards this masculine? Well, only a few of them. Yeah. Well, we, you know, we know how the divine feminine feels. Wow. Queen of Cups. This is like home. This is like... This is using your intuition and, and your love and your passion within, you know, surveying your, your emotions and, you know, you are keeping some things to yourself. You're not putting your whole self out there, which is good. Don't, don't put your whole self out there. They need some mystery in here. And that's what that is. There's mystery. Romantic gestures. You, yeah, you're waiting on it. It's tempting. It is so tempting to just reach out and be like, hey. You know, we're twins, right? Can we collaborate on this? Can I pull some of your collaboration out from underneath all this burdens and reverse endings and, you know, can we get some collaboration here? Because it's building this conflict inside. I said it in my last video, I guess I gotta say it again. 
sometimes we just need a little collaboration. Sometimes we just need to say, hey, we just need to hear, yeah, I am feeling that way. Do you want to work on talking about this? Not coming together and being together, okay? Right now, the feminine knows that the masculine are not in that state of healing enough to come together. And the feminine really aren't in the state of healing enough either. Some of them are. I mean, they're, I mean, you wouldn't be watching this video if y'all were together, right? I don't think you would. So, I'm just saying. There's conflict here. And it's you're in your head. Because there's no collaboration. And it's on the table. The truth will be told. And it's funny because in the last reading, the feminine had got an owl. Her, her uh, card was owl. So it's like y'all both have a truth in, in you. What is emotional safety on the bottom? <laughs> I have to get through the whole deck. Okay, well they just don't want to come out. I don't know. I'm going to fly through them, okay? I'm not going to go through every single one. There was a marriage that ended. Somebody was playing mind games in control. I think it transformed something. Maybe y'all were in a marriage or something. I don't know. That's very suspicious. That's very suspicious. I'm not going to go through these cards because that's too suspicious. Let's not do that, because that's a lot. Let's do this instead. Let's pull a couple of these. Sorry about that, y'all. Okay, let's pull a couple of these. Vulnerability. This person really thinks that they can be vulnerable around you, or you think you could be vulnerable around them. I think it is an equal give and take, because it's on the bottom. This shared energies. You can be completely open with this person. They can be open with you. And I mean, how many awakening? Someone is undergoing a spiritual transformation. Definitely. Most definitely. I think uh, both of y'all. Both of y'all have been in a spiritual lean in your inner circle during this time. Yes. You need to heal individually. Do not lean on each other. It's not, I don't know why, but it just, you. it doesn't work. It doesn't ever work. You cannot lean on your twin to heal. I don't know why. I, I mean, they trigger you. And then they trigger you again. And then you try to go and heal, and they trigger you again. It just doesn't work. I mean, whenever you get into a place of balance, yeah, I'm pretty sure you can do that. But whenever you got old childhood wounds, wounds, past life wounds, you've got adult wounds, all this stuff built on top of, I mean, you like just swept so much stuff under the rug and then you didn't take care of it and then now you got to face it before you get to this person. Retreat here and now. Go within and um, focus on now. And the last reading... That's what the feminine was doing. She was focusing a lot on right now. She was definitely being creative. She was having um, the new career card came up with the um, Ace of Pentacles. And that 
Ace of Pentacles, a new career that is a beautiful breakthrough with a new job or a new endeavor of some sort whenever it comes to your work or your Pentacles because it's the Ace of Pentacles. So, I mean, things are working out individually perfectly, and that's what it has to do. And the Justice card was on the bottom of the deck a few times, and the Justice is balanced, and you know that he's got the scale and it's balanced. That's what you each have to balance each other. Like the yin and yang. You can't be like one can't be bigger than the other. You have to you have to have the same size. Okay? So you can't have you can't have an imbalance and be together. So focus on yourself. Retreat. Be in the here and now. This is serious. It's an awakening. There's a treat that's going to come. It's going to be awesome. Just wait. Have patience, you know. It's going to be worth it in the end, I promise. Alright, well, good luck to you on your journey. And um, please like, subscribe, share comment. I love the feedback. Alright, I'll talk to y'all later because this ain't ending. I'll be back. <laughs> Alright, bye-bye.